This was the loudest, largest, and most powerful rocket ever launched. The SpaceX Starship hefted skywards by the super heavy booster with thrust equivalent to more than 100 jetliners at takeoff. Booster up your chamber pressure is nominal. Engineers had said just getting off the launch pad would make this uncrewed test a success. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. They got a lot further than that. Onboard view from Starship. But Starship failed to separate from its booster, the rocket tumbling through the atmosphere before breaking apart. In the gung-ho, fail-fast world of Elon Musk's SpaceX, this moment was met by cheers. While all the excitement, well, simply put, Starship is the largest rocket anyone has ever built. The space shuttle was around 60 metres tall with a 29-ton capacity. NASA's latest moon rocket, SLS Block 1, is a whopping 98 metres tall. Saturn V, the last rocket to go to the moon, was bigger and more powerful still. But Starship bolted on to the heavy booster, dwarfs even that at 120 metres with a 150-tonne payload capacity. But size isn't everything. SpaceX dominates the commercial launch market by making its rockets reusable. Starship is designed to be the same. Elon Musk didn't look delighted. Starship was supposed to complete an orbit of Earth before crashing into the sea, but even his critics were impressed by today's result. For a first test launch of a completely new uh, revolutionary design like this, I, I'm, I'm very happy with it, and I'm sure SpaceX will be too. The point is, when, when will it get into space? When will it get into orbit? And the really revolutionary thing about Starship is the idea of recovering for reuse, and so they're a long way off. SpaceX has proved it learns from its failures, but there'll likely be more before Starship is ready for astronauts bound for the moon and beyond. Tom Clark, Sky News.